Kyra here and welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna just go ahead and jump right into this makeup look. Gonna start off by priming our eyelids using the MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. And then we're gonna use the shade Taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette and just use that as a transition shade in the crease area. All right, once you apply that, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sable from that same Lorac Pro Palette and just apply that to the crease area. We're gonna apply that right below where we applied the shade Taupe. And this is gonna help to darken up that crease area and make it a little more defined. Um, kind of just add a little bit of dimension in that area. And here I'm using a tapered blending brush from Morphe. All right, now for the main attraction, I'm gonna take the shade Shameless, which is a ColourPop eyeshadow, and just apply that all over the lid using a flat shader brush, and it's taking that brush to apply that shade all over the lid. Um, you can either use a flat brush or your finger, and again, just find this all over the lid, you guys. I prefer to just kind of pack it on and smooth it out because this eyeshadow will get very, very, very pigmented if you use that technique. So I love the blue by itself. Well, actually, I love the blue, but I didn't love it by itself. And I wanted a pop of color in the center. So I applied the shade Get Lucky, which is also a color pop eyeshadow, and applied that using my finger right into the center. And that kind of just created some dimension and made the center of my eye really pop and shine. And once you apply that, we're going to take the shade Slate from that same Lorac Pro Palette and it smooth out those harsh edges. Um, using that shade and we're taking a just a flat blender brush which I believe was the MAC 217 brush and just use that to blend out those edges. Now onto the face, we're going to first start by color correcting using the LA Girl Orange Corrector. Um, you guys use a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. Sometimes I forget how little I need because as you can see I get very very orange. And for foundation, today I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC45. I did not mix it with a darker foundation, which is something that I usually do, which is why it looks a little bit lighter um, on camera. But trust me, you guys, whenever we apply concealer and bronze and everything else, it'll turn out just fine. For concealer, I'll be using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite concealers because it is full coverage and it smooths out very, very nicely and gives a very nice finish. So just applying that to the areas under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my Cupid's bow area, and my forehead area. And for this step, I will be blending it out just using the original Beauty Blender. Nothing fancy, just a Beauty Blender to smooth it all out. Now to set those highlighted areas, I'll be taking the Sasha Buttercup Powder and just using that same beauty blender to press that powder into my skin. And again, just applying this in the areas that I highlighted, which were under the eyes, bridge of the nose, forehead, keep its bow, and a little bit of my chin, I believe. So after setting your highlighted areas, you want to go ahead and set your entire face. So using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark, I'll just be taking a big fluffy brush and applying that powder all over the skin. And as you can see, this is really helping to bring some color back to my face. All right, now to bronze up the skin, which is basically to kind of warm up the skin, I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW48. And it's applying that to the cheekbone area and also around the forehead, like near my, my hairline. And then to further contour, I'll be using the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Rich Mahogany. And as you can see, it's a, dark, a darker powder. And I'll just be using that to kind of further define um, my cheekbones and putting that closer along the hairline. Oh, and also, of course, to chisel and slim down my nose. I, can, I love, love, love contouring my nose, okay? <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and dust away that excess powder and then move on to finishing up my eyes. 
So of course I did want a smoky eye, so I'm going to be going in with the Black Bean Jumbo Pencil from NYX and just applying that to my waterline. And then I'll smudge that out with the shade Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, I just love this combo. It really kind of smokes out the eyes, but doesn't make it too dark and too harsh. I don't know. It kind of just creates a nice warm finish. So for highlighter, I'll be using my beloved <laughs> That Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys, this is probably my favorite highlighter kit like ever. I just love, love, love this palette. I'm applying that along the cheekbones, forehead, tip of my nose, and bridge of my nose. And I prefer to use a bigger tapered brush for my forehead and cheek area, and then a smaller pointed brush for my nose. To set my brows, I'll be using the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite tricks. I will be doing a in-depth eyebrow tutorial coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Cannot forget to spray our face with MAC Fix Plus because that helps to finish our makeup and create a very nice skin finish. For lips, I kind of wanted to do something that was different. I didn't want to do a typical nude, which I would normally do. So I'm taking the Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC, line my lips of course, and then I'm taking this bright orangish reddish lipstick from ColourPop called Mama and it's applied that to my lips as you can see it's very very bright it's a it's, I don't know it's like a really nice orangey red but once I applied this I didn't love it on its own I kind of want wanted to lighten it up a little bit so I applied the shade platform from ColourPop and applied that right to the center and blended that out and I like really 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 like that combo of course, you cannot forget our inner corner highlight. So I'm taking the shade Get Lucky, again, from the ColourPop collection. And just applying that to the inner corner using a pencil brush just to make those inner corners pop, pop, pop. And then lastly, we're going in with some mascara to apply to our top and bottom lashes, you guys. And this will complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Midnight Blue Smoky Eye tutorial here with this really soft red lip. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye you guys!